Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you my everyday makeup routine. It's been a minute since I've showed you my current favorites and current favorite products. And I thought today would be a great chance to do that. I just got back from a weekend in Vegas with some girlfriends and I'm a little run down this week and I feel like I just look really tired. So I wanted to do something that made me look a little bit fresher, a little bit brighter. This is kind of what I do on an everyday basis, but I have some products that I've been obsessed with lately that have really just changed the game for me. I wanted to start off by thanking Revlon for sponsoring today's video. I am in love with Revlon products. I've used them for years. They are so accessible and they just have amazing quality products and I will forever be a Revlon fan. With all that being said, let's get into the video and I'm gonna start off with, I'm gonna start off with foundation today. I have been doing concealer first recently because I've been getting really bad spots. I just started a new retinol and retinol makes your skin purge for the first few months. So my skin's been a mess, but finally, I feel like it's been a lot better and I can finally use less makeup, which is the goal. Right now I'm just using a sheer glow foundation. This is like a sheer kind of luminous foundation and I like to apply it I like to apply it with my fingers because I realize that my beauty blenders get so disgusting that I think that they make me break out. So I've just been using my hands and honestly, using your hands is amazing. Your fingers melt the product into your skin really nicely and I feel like it looks way more natural. But I mean, a beauty blender I obviously still use sometimes or like brushes, but I find that when I use my fingers, Sometimes it just looks a lot more natural. And I just do a really light base of foundation and then I'll either build it or I will add concealer on whatever imperfections I have left over after putting on the foundation. And before I did the foundation, I put on sunscreen. I forgot to show you guys but sunscreen is also really important. Without sunscreen, your skincare is not relevant. So this foundation is from NARS. Okay, now that my foundation is mixed in, I'm gonna go in with concealer. This is the Revlon Color Stay 5-in-1 24-hour concealer. It has vitamin C and it also has caffeine in it. So it's really, really good. If you are tired or puffy, it just helps get rid of any sort of puffiness. And you guys know I'm a huge skincare fan. So any sort of makeup that has skincare benefits, I think is the future. I think that makeup going forward is, I think makeup going forward is going to double as skincare. And I think that a lot of us just want something that's gonna be healthy and good for our skin overall and not just make us look dull at the end of the day when we take off our makeup. So yeah, this is the five in one concealer. I'm using shade 40 today and I love using it under my eyes. It has a nice little felt tip. Don't look at my nails, by the way. I had press-ons on, press this weekend and I just took them all off. So yeah, you can squeeze it onto the little felt tip and I just apply it underneath my eyes. And the thing I love about this concealer is that it looks really natural. It doesn't look cakey. It looks like your skin. I also put it around my nose where I get a little bit red throughout the day. And then I will also put it on any sort of blemishes that I have. Then I go ahead and blend it out with my fingers because it blends really beautifully like that. I just kind of sweep it out and then I dab it in. But I do it really gently because the eye area can be really sensitive. And then you can also use it on your eyelids just to conceal and create a nice little base for eyeshadow. Wow, I already look so much more awake and brighter, glowier. And some days I'll just stop here and I'll put on setting powder and I'll run out the door. If I have like two minutes to do my makeup, I'll do that. I'm going to use a liquid contour today. I think that this looks really natural and just adds a nice little dimension to the face. This is the contour wand. 
from Charlotte Tilbury and I go ahead and start on my forehead. I think it kind of is running out because I use it so much. And I like to blend it as soon as I apply it or it becomes kind of um, hard to blend because it'll dry. So make sure as you do liquid contour, unless it's like a cream base, this one isn't really a cream like oily base, so it'll dry pretty quickly. So you just add that nice sun-kissed dimension back into the forehead. I apply it as a nice little base around my eyelids. And sometimes if I don't do eyeshadow, I'll just do this. I'll blend it up. Hello, glitching over here. I'll blend it out with a little brush. My cheekbones underneath the jaw. I'm gonna blend the jaw first because this cannot get blotchy. And whenever I blend it, I just kind of dab it instead of moving the product. I just try and like buff it in. And then I'm gonna go in with bronzer. This is the Hoola bronzer and it has a nice little brush in it that I use. I know a lot of people love this brush. I prefer this brush because it's kind of like a second contour, but it's a little bit warmer than the liquid contour. The liquid contour is a little bit more brown. This one's a little bit more orange. So it just gives you a nice little glow. And then I'll kind of do this on the sides of my nose, do a little nose definition on top of the eyelids. Top of the forehead. You guys who have been following for a while or subscribed for a while know that I was fully blonde. I know I'm like as dark as can be, but I kind of like it. I think that this is the hair color to stay. I think that this is the final, the winner. I have this new palette that I just got in and it has some really pretty pinks and highlights. And this is a really nice little highlighter, bronzer, blush. And then I kind of use this like a setting powder but I just kind of grab all of it at once like this and then I'll test it because it's really pigmented. So I'll do it on like the back of my hand um, like that. And then I'll just kind of go in and dab it on. I was obsessed with cream blush all year, but I kind of am in a phase where I'm not into cream blush right now, which is a sin for most makeup people. But the thing about cream blush for me is that when you wear a mask, it creases and it doesn't, you have to like set it properly or else it moves. And sometimes I'm too lazy to like properly set my face during the day. And this blush just blends into my skin and stays in place all day long without me having to like set it. And I also have really oily skin. So liquid cream products on me doesn't always look the best, you know? I sometimes will look a little bit too dewy. And then I'll add it to the tip of my nose. And then I'll go ahead and use this kind of setting powder with the highlight here. And just kind of dust over top of the pink to tone it down a bit. But then for a little extra highlight, I'll go in with the highlighter right here in the corner and kind of I don't love too much highlighter during the day, but I love just a little. You can see that, super glowy. Put it on top of the lip, Cupid's bow, sometimes in the corner, my eyes. Of course, I'm gonna add a little bit more bronzer because I feel like I don't have enough. Darker bronzer. Kind of just add it to my neck. I just put this one everywhere. This one is from Tom Ford. For brows, I like to do a gel before I start my makeup because it won't stay if I do it over foundation. And I find if I do a gel over top of my foundation, it like crumbles around my eyebrows. Um, I feel like a lot of people have this problem. So that's kind of my solution to it. Just doing it before I used the Makeup by Mario brow gel, which I love. And then I'll go in with this Gucci eyebrow pencil. And I'll just draw in little hair-like motions. 
Okay, what is going on outside? Fill in where they're a little bit more sparse. Sometimes I'll do like a brow soap if I am going out or if I want my brows to be a little bit more stuck. But I feel like for every day to have really intense brows can get overwhelming. So I just kind of fill them in with a little pencil these days instead. Add some freckles back in. I have naturally some freckles there, but I like to draw on top of them. And then I'll take this and kind of um, extend my lash line while it's out. This is my eyeliner for the day. I just kind of draw straight out and then I'll go underneath a little bit. We love an all-in-one product. So this weekend is Halloween and I have no idea what I'm being. I haven't even gotten a costume. Um, are we over Halloween? I feel like, do we love it? I never know. I feel like it's always overhyped every single year and I try and go out and have a good time and I just end up being overwhelmed and going home. And then I just get like one picture in the outfit or like not enough pictures in the outfit and then that's it. So you only dress up just for a pic. I feel like if you actually put a lot of time and effort into your costume, then it's great. But for me, I'm so lazy. I might just do cool makeup and call it a day. And now I'm gonna set my face with a clear setting powder and just kind of dab that in the T-zone area where I get really shiny. Like this is actually a little bit more than what I do on an everyday basis, but I wanna show you guys how to like take your everyday look to the next level. I like to take a black eyeliner, like a black long wear eyeliner and kind of add it underneath of my eyes, underneath my lash line, sorry. Just in the outer corners. You can also do this with a dark brown if black is too much. And then I'll take a little smudge brush and kind of smudge it out around the edge. And then once I smudge, sometimes I go back in with a little pencil. Then I will take my mascara to the outside of my lashes like this. And then I'll do one little pass on the lashes more in the center of my eye. A little bit in the middle on the bottom. Clean it up a little. To bring this look to the next level, I'm gonna take a few little individual lashes and just put it on the outer corners. And what I like to do is I like to just use these little Revlon tweezers and I'll apply some lash glue just on them like this. Let that dry for a second. Definitely need a mirror for this. And then I have a larger one to put on There, you can put more. I think I'm just gonna do two, two on each side today. There, four lips. Okay, eyes are done. This is the final look for the eyes. And for lips, I'm going to finish off with my favorite Revlon Colorstay Matte Light Crayon. Um, so this is the perfect everyday lip. I love it because it has a really fine tip so you can use it like a lip liner, but it also is big enough to cover your full lips. So, and it stays a really long time and it smells so good. So I like to just go in around the edges and then Kind of start out by lining my lips with it. And there, the perfect everyday nude. This is color number. This is 001 Tread Lightly. So that's the lip color of the day. And then sometimes I will add a gloss over in the center, a tiny bit of um, lip balm. Oops, take 
super glowy and natural for every day. Again, I'd like to thank Revlon for sponsoring this video. I will go ahead and link these below for you guys so you can shop all of my Revlon favorites. This is the final look. I love the way that it turned out. I feel like it's just super natural and glowy for every day. I'm actually going to show you in direct lighting too because I'm on the tripod right now, but I hope you guys liked this video and I will see you guys in the next one.